What is going on, guys? Um, Shows out to a couple of people here. Um, welcome to Cooking with Ryan, um, aka Big Poppy. Hi. Um, today we are making um, burgers with my special recipe. I'm going to share with you guys today what I do to make my burgers when I make, make turkey burgers. And my, like I said, my name is Ryan. I'm coming to you guys live. What's up, Sue? How are you? Come guys live from Goodyear, Arizona. Um, also known as, AKA, Big Poppy. And remember, I make all my stuff from scratch and fresh out of the package. That's right, we keep it simple here. Um, we keep it simple because I like simple and because it's easy for you guys to make it also. Not that you guys can't make something that's difficult or hard. What I find is I'm more likely to make something myself. It's easy to do. It's quick, easy, gets it done, so. Kyrie, what's going on? Thanks for joining me. So I'm gonna cut up an onion here to add to my, um, I got some turkey meat here in the bowl already. So I'm gonna cut up an onion here and add that to uh, my meat. Um, I am missing one ingredient today I'm going to not use because my wife has to stop at the store on the way home, pick that up. So I usually like to make this up a couple hours or so ahead of time, um, just so, um, it has a chance to kind of bond together. So that way when you cook it, um, it, it doesn't come apart when you're cooking, in other words. So um, do me a favor, guys. Um, let me know where you're watching from. Um, drop an emoji in the comments there if you guys see something you like. Um, like it, love it, wow it. I appreciate all that. But anyways, like I said, drop, in the, uh, drop an emoji in there where you guys are from. Um, also, when I get done and I finish um, cooking everything, I do repost a picture of what I made in the comments. And by you posting um, a hello, where you're turning in from, or an emoji in there for me, it helps get this out to other people. Plus, it cuts up your feed as to when I post something else in there for you. So you can take a look at it and see what, I, what the finished um, product looks like. So, win-win. So, cut, like I said, cutting up an onion here. See if I can keep from uh, cutting my finger off and uh, Turn up here. So cut kind of a little bit thin here. That way when it gets in there to cook, it'll cook um, with the burger when I cook the burgers. Slide this off there so I can slide this in there. So today is Tuesday. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I know mine's been good. Um, went to the gym this morning with my little guy. And um, I love my gym because the, the, the gym I go to has, has a really great um, daycare that watches him for, for two and a half hours. Now it was two hours before a day they'd watch him, but now it's um, two and a half hours. That gives me less extra time. So, and um, I got a great group of people that I work out with um, there at the gym. And then when I get done, um, what I really like is the, 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 the gym has a, um, a steam room. It has a... Um, a dry sauna, has a couple of jacuzzis indoor, a pool, all that kind of stuff, so I can go when I get done um, and relax. So it's kind of like, you know, my, I, call, I call it my spa time, so. <laughs> so pretty nice to have that. Melissa, how are you from Phoenix? Excellent, thanks for joining me. I shared this out to a couple extra groups in here. Um, so if you guys are watching and um, you enjoy um, stuff like cooking, so I do this kind of stuff um, occasionally, and just like to share it out to people. Um, so if we're not friends on here, send me a friend request. And um, I'm not too much a weirdo, so. Anyways, no, really. Um, send me a friend request and um, like to be friends. Denise, how are you, my friend? What you cooking? I am making turkey burgers and I'm sharing my secret recipe today. How I make those. And where I came up with this recipe was when I growing up, my, I, grew, I grew up in a small town and we, 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 we and, and, and that small town I lived in was, was mostly Seventh-day Adventists. So there was a lot of um, um, non-meat. So we, we had a lot, we ate a lot of veggie burgers. And when you made veggie burgers, which is a non-meat item, it was, uh, they, we used to get it in a can called uh, Loma Linda was the name of the brand we used to get. And what you do is you add a bunch of, bunch of stuff to it that help it taste good. So what, I, what I've done is I've taken turkey meat, I've done the same thing, I've kind of added the same kind of stuff to it to help the turkey meat. It isn't bad, but I like the extra good stuff in there for you. So 
what I do here is I have my, my bowl of turkey meat. I just added the onion to it, okay? Um, I'm gonna put some, some salt in there with it. And as you guys know, I don't do a lot of measuring. I kind of just, you know, put stuff in there. And um, as, long as, you don't, as long as you don't really overdo it, you're not gonna hurt it. So I'm gonna add some um, garlic powder right there. Add that to it, uh, like so. Um, I got some poppy seasoning, my favorite seasoning. Gonna add that to it. About like that. And I'm going to add Quaker oats to it, some oatmeal, okay? Dried oatmeal. So, and um, I add quite a bit of oatmeal and it really works out pretty good in here. And unfortunately, the one ingredient I need is, 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 is I'm missing is eggs. Um, I usually add about, you know, depending on how much I make, you know, four or five eggs. And the eggs kind of help it, help it bond together so it kind of doesn't come apart when you're cooking it. Because, the, like you guys know, the worst thing when you're cooking burgers, and you, I, I recommend you guys cook these indoors because they get, a little, a little, they get a little bit runny a little bit when you make them. And on the grill, um, unless you have uh, aluminum foil down, you might lose some of it through the, you know, through the, um, the grates. So um, I make this indoors um, on, on two pans. I usually have two pans, but I usually make extra. Um, that way we have extra during, during the week or extra for about three or four more days. So what's really great is we'll have, you know, whatever we have tonight, I can put the rest in a container and put it in the fridge. And when someone wants one, you take it out, throw it on a plate, throw it in the microwave for about 45 seconds, bam, another burger. So whether you wanna put that in a bun, um, you want to, you know, um, cut it up, put it on a tortilla, add some stuff to it. Or if you want to put it on rice or something like that, you can do that. So it works out pretty good. They also let, usually last about two or three days if I make, you know, a dozen or so of them. So it works out pretty good. Yum. Arvu, how are you? Where are you, where are you um, watching from? Let me know. I'm good. How are you today? Excellent, Denise. You know, Denise, I always like to see you on here. Um, you know, I really enjoy seeing your your posts, um, your positive posts um, in the morning and throughout the day. Um, really, the people I've gotten to know that um, I've never met in person um, are some pretty awesome people, and you're one of them. So I look forward to meeting you um, someday, which I'm sure we're going to very soon. But um, I'm glad you're doing good, my friend. So, okay, so I have that all made up there. And, um, oh, vegetable oil. Add a little bit of that to it. And don't need to add too much, just, you know, kind of enough to <coughs> wet things a little bit here. Kind of helps things stick together a little bit too. And when you're cooking also, it helps with um, kind of cooking inside of it too when you're cooking. It heats up and um, really goes. So I'm gonna mix this up here. And like I said, I'm missing my eggs. I usually add, you know, four or five eggs in here and um, that helps things kind of stick together. But unfortunately, um, I'm vehicleless today. Um, having a 16-year-old, uh, um, we have two vehicles, and so my wife and her usually split those. Well, after the gym, since I'm since, 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 since what I do is, is what I do is I come home after the gym, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. So I don't really have to have a vehicle I mean, unless you know one of the kids has a doctor's appointment or something like that. Um, I do have a three and a half year old that I take care of um, every day. So I have him with me all the time. So I get to stay home and take care of him. So I don't have to always have a vehicle, but I have one until after the gym and then I usually go and pick up my wife. She works pretty close here to home um, for a uh, company just down the street. And so I pick her up and she comes home and has her lunch and then she takes the vehicle back to work. And that way my little guy, which he's taking a nap right now, I can take a nap. And don't have to wake him up halfway through to go pick her up. My wife goes to work early, so she gets off early. So, anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, obviously, like I said, it's missing the eggs in here, but give you an idea. So, I'll mix it up a little more when I get the eggs, but something like that. So, again, what I used is I used um, um, about um, half of the thing of turkey, which um, uh, just you know the the the, 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 the it comes in a three pound um, roll like this, and I use the um, the one that's over ninety percent um, fat, you know um, fat free. So it's only ten percent fat, or I think it's actually seven or eight percent, something like. That. Anyways, it's over ninety percent um, fat free, so there's not a lot of fat in it, which makes it a little bit healthier for you. And um, I cut that in half, and I put half of that in a bowl. 
Um, I add a um, about half, two, three quarters of an onion to that chopped finely or smaller pieces. Um, I add some salt to that, some pepper usually. Um, I add my um, some garlic powder to that. And if you guys like garlic, garlic salt, do that. That's fine. I just don't overdo it on the salt. Sometimes you don't like extra salt, so I, I usually garlic, garlic powder. Um, I put some um, pappy seasoning, which is the red one. It's light here, so here we go. And I add some um, oatmeal, just Quaker oat oatmeal to that. You know, I usually usually make sure the whole top is covered with oatmeal before I start stirring, which is kind of my measuring of it. And when you stir it up, if there's a whole lot in there you don't see, add some more to it. Um, I add some um, vegetable oil, or you can add um, you can add um, corn oil if you want to. Um, just kind of helps it bond together better, I think. And when you're cooking it, heats up inside, helps cook the burger inside, which um, helps out a lot, though. I don't add a lot of that because it's already kind of moist a little bit, the um, turkey um, meat is. So, and then like I said, I usually add um, four or five eggs, depends on how much I, I do in there. And I don't have the eggs today, so when I my wife gets home with the eggs, I will add those to it. But you should make up a couple hours at least ahead of time. Or you can make this up in the morning if you want to or whenever you have some time. All you have to do is take it out and cook the burgers up, and you're done. So, easy peasy, works pretty good. So how is you guys' weather out where you're at today? I know, um, looking outside there, we have supposed to have a, ooh, looks like it's sprinkling right now. It's raining in Arizona. Yeah, we had rain, uh, was that Saturday night we had some rain, and last night, Monday night, we had a little bit of rain too. <coughs> Hate this weather, my allergies get all kicked up. Anyways, we had a little bit of rain, a little bit more rain today, it looks like, so I'm looking forward to spring and summertime. And yes, it's hot here in the summertime, but really you know, springtime, summertime, and fall time mean to me pool time. So I'm looking forward to the heat, bring it on. So I don't like the cold weather. So about cold weather makes my body hurt. So I love the warm weather. Rhonda, yucky. Yeah, whatever, Rhonda. I hope it's snowing like hell for you, Rhonda. So I know my friend Rhonda back east there. So she's probably having some terrible weather. I'm sure we'll be, she'll be posting a video of it snowing outside of her house here every day. I haven't seen one for a couple days, Rhonda. Let's see some videos of it snowing outside your house. What I'll do for you, Rhonda, is next one you post the snow, I'll show, show, send you a picture of me in the pool at the gym. For summer. Yeah, I'll bet you are. <laughs> now, um, weather is kind of, like I said, um, it's not real cold, which I, you know, it was cold. I uh, was at, I played golf on uh, New Year's Eve, and oh my God, it was cold. You know, I've never been that cold playing golf. It was cold. So we only, I think we only played, uh, what, maybe four holes, maybe five holes, and we were, we were it was raining. It was cold. It was actually, it was actually starting to, we were starting to get some frozen rain. So, ooh, it was windy. Terrible. Bite your tongue. Yeah, I know. No snow. I know, Denise. Oh, I, oh, I don't want snow for you, Denise. It's only, only snow for Rhonda. Lots of snow for Rhonda. So, anyways, um, my burgers are made up as far as um, in the thing here. I'm going to cover them up. Stick them in the fridge um, until my beautiful wife gets home with the eggs. I'll add those, um, probably gonna add four eggs to that. Um, stir it back up, put it back in the fridge for probably about another half an hour, and then cook them. And there we go. Um, I appreciate you guys jumping on here and commenting on here. Let me know where you guys are from. Um, dropping emojis, giving me hearts, um, giving me likes. I appreciate that very much. And it's important for you guys to jump on here and give comments, that way you guys can see. I will pop a picture of the finished product in here, maybe a quick little video of me cooking it up the burgers. So hope you guys have a wonderful day and um, go out and do something fun and see you guys again next time. See ya, bye.